I'm going to show you what AI allows me to do and how much time it allows me to save. So this is from my pack, uh, my new latest pack, and you can find the link at the uh, bottom of the subscription, prescri subscription, <laughs> not so. Anyway, um, this is from my pack, and um, you guys may be interested in picking that pack up, right? But check this out. I'm getting ready to make a flyer. Are you ready? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. So it takes as long as it takes to load up. The flyer is done. So now make sure um, you go pick up my pack. The video's over. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to show you what my pack is uh, going to allow you to do. So we're going to put behind us the days of coming up with beautiful, rend beautif beautifully rendered um, backgrounds for our flyers. I'm going to save the day for you, uh, for my homies and homies. And I'm also um, going to teach you how to utilize, utilize AI to be able to do the same thing. So let's do another flyer. I'm going to make another flyer. Now, of course, um, you know, you got to go in there. You got to tweak it, you know, from March the 23rd. Let's say we're going to make it March the 20, you know, 5th, the 26th. You know what I mean? Of course, you know, you're going to change it. We got to uh, change up the Lorem, Lorem Ipsum Dance Club. You know, DJ Lorem to DJ Tizzo, you know, or DJ YouTube or, you know, DJ, uh, you know, uh, fans and stuff like that. Um, uh, you know what I'm talking about. But let's go ahead and drag this out of here, right? And um, uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, since we on that, let's just make another flyer. Drag, drop, bam! We in the building. Let me scroll that down. There you go. You're done with the flyer. <laughs> the fastest flyer you can make in 2023 because of your homeboy Grand Tills Neil's knee. Now, this ain't going to cost you, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, nickels and dimes. It's going to cost you a pretty penny, but I promise you it's worth it. You're going to get your money back right back. So don't go tripping when I show you the price, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all hit that link. Go and check it out, you know what I'm saying? Just go ahead. No, man, I need the super bad. You know what I'm big. You know what, man? Y'all want to do this. Y'all want to be real about it, man. Y'all go ahead and buy that pack. Let's do another one, man. Let's go ahead and do one more. Bam, right here. Let's get this chick here. And let's make another flyer. Bada bing, bada boom. Another flyer done. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, let me um, run, run run real quick Um, what you're going to be getting in the, in the pack. You're going to get um some placeholders text placeholders and you're going to get a buku slew foot of um yeah let me make it some small adjustment let me show you how you you will make some adjust oh, i ain't even you know what i can't even finish talking so let me go ahead and tell you what you get so anyway you get um a grand a uh, uh grand full of um go ahead and move that out the way um a grand amount of um of um background so that you can just kind of just slap these flyers together and go ahead and uh, knock it out the park. Now also what I'm gonna do included with these is I'm gonna give you some tutorials to teach you how to do it from scratch. I'm gonna teach you how to do these from scratch. You know what I'm saying? If you're interested, I know most of y'all, a lot of y'all more than likely uh, already got, you know, the flyers. I've been doing this for a while, so I know a lot, a lot of y'all got them. However, you would not have access to the new training, the AI training. And that is going to be um, added um, with uh, some of this content. Now, it's going to be exclusive. You know, the fact of the matter is AI is killing the game. And because of that, uh, you know, it's going you know, it, it, you know, to cost a little bit to learn a little something about AI. Now, you can, of course, you know, you can just scour through YouTube videos and kind of get the hang of it. But there is also a, a technique and there's also a formula from certain artists. 
And to know that technique and, and formula from certain artists would definitely put you at an advantage. And that's what I offer. Um, you, you can definitely go anywhere. You can find any YouTube, one, one of many YouTube videos to um, learn how to use AI. But again, to become an expert at it um, and to understand it in a way where it can benefit you immediately, then you may want to be interested in some of the tutorials. Uh, the elite tutorials that I'm going to have lined up. But for the most part, if you're not ready and you're just ready to just like, I just want to get working. I just want to get straight to it. Um, just go get uh, some of these packs and um, you can just, you know, utilize the packs like that. Now, what I like to do is you, you see, um, you know, the, the, the images that I'm going to have for you guys is really, they're so dynamic that it's not a lot that you're going to need to do. Um, the only thing that you're going to want to do is, and, and you'll see the profile, you know, I'm going to have like, um, if we look over here, text and likes, that is, if we cut that off, you know, we have the background image, then we got the text and likes, you know, it's kind of like a magazine cover, you know what I mean? All the hard work was done for you. And of course, you can go in there and embellish more. For example, I have a, a group text, then I have assets here. And if you click that off, you know, it, it removes just a few assets and it's only what? How many assets are here? There's really four assets, right? But if you wanted to add, let's say, a disco ball, then you come over here and you do the place in bed, and um, you go into the, you should already have this. Everybody that's watching these videos should definitely already have the ultimate toolbox essential uh, toolbox, but you may want to add something in there. Um, let's say a disco ball. So let's we go over here and go to our disco bills and alls. And we hit that and bam there we go we got our bills now and then we put it in there bow you see and that's going to and we should drag that drag and drop into the asset folder actually before you dump something in here just go to click on your asset folder so that whenever you do import something let's import something else um let's import a uh what else can we do uh i don't know a champagne bottle or something you know what i mean some speakers maybe i don't know we already got a lot laid out so we don't really have to uh, add a lot but it's always good to just have you something you know something in the background back up and it just always add extra flair to um, what you already got going on you know what I'm saying just super duper flair assets and you know splash of champagne behind it you know and if you got Oh, you know what? It should have automatically added it in. Anyway, you want to keep everything separate. Your extra assets, cut that on and off. Um, your group text, cut that on and off. And then your likes, cut that on and off. And the reason why I got them in separate folders is so that you can go in here. And uh, you select this light and you can move it around. But I got it in a separate folder so that it won't get lost and caught up in all the other things and i gave you a handful and these are the best uh, flares that you pretty much will want to use of course there's a lot of others and you also got a lot of a lot of the these assets inside of the asset folder the psd folder that i encourage everybody to purchase um but i put the best inside of um, these templates here so you really don't really have to look around the you know i, I looked at a lot these are the most dynamic looking ones. You might be interested just in that alone. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, of course, um, what happens is you see, you'll notice that these is all squares. That means that if I want to, maybe I want to click one of these lights, I may can't get to it because another box might be in the way. So just cut them off so that you can access, you know, some of the stars that you probably couldn't get. Let me go ahead and put these over Maybe like right there. I don't know. You, you know, y'all smarter than me, man. Y'all more talented than your homie, your grand tizzle. You know, I know I, I do a few things, but you know, all of the talent comes with you guys. All right. All right. So, um, but anyway, just, you know, cut them off. If You know, if you're trying to reach something like I'm trying to reach this one right here, but that one pops up. So I'm trying to move this one right here. But when I click it, everything moves. So just cut it off. That's it. And grab it. Oh, see, now cut that off. Don't worry about them. They all in there. They ain't going nowhere. Oh, look, there you go. I touched that. Boom. Boom. See, I still can't get it. Gonna cut it off. Now, what I'm going to do later on, you know, I'll fine tune these and kind of remove all the black squares so that you can 
have a little bit better access to it but um you know to really get the look right i kind of like to leave everything in there the square you know i really like to leave it all in there because um if i take too much out let me see if i adjust these levels it, it'll make the picture more contrasty as you see a little darker but i lose that other light flare that really makes it look uh cinematic that's the word i'm gonna use you know i could dial it down a little bit but i, I prefer to keep it there because uh, we lose that cinematic touch anyway i'm gonna go ahead and cut everything back on and um and what i encourage you to do also when you use this new pack cut the cut the light flares off uh only cut these on last because that's going to be the very top layer but cut them off so that you can um, do other things like for example we want to tweak this so this blue is cool right but we really want to go off the colors that's in the actual actual background palette which is going to be the um images that uh that that you know i, I uh, that you're purchasing the stock the stock photos for lack of better words that you purchase um we want we want the colors to kind of match that a little bit so with that um, you just want to double click and these are just little minor tweaks and it's only just to add a little bit of um, cohesive color patterns see how I look how much better it look when, when it's matching kind of the overall scheme I can kind of hit any color inside the um, the color scheme and, and it's gonna work because it's all part of the theme. you see what I'm saying so that's what I encourage you to do like uh, even this this is blue um, so, so look, there's something that we can do. So turn it down, cut it off. Now let's look at all of the colors we work with. We work with this blue, this orange, this pink, her brown skin, and the blue. So those are the color schemes that we're working with, right? So um, so we really can't keep that blue here, uh, that, that blue here. We, we can keep it, you know what I'm saying? It's really up to y'all, honestly. Um, but just for the sake of this, I'm just gonna change some colors around. Uh, maybe we can get that. I don't know. Um, maybe that. Uh, let's see. Change that to. I don't know. Uh, brown, gold, orange. Her skin is orange, or whatever. But it just it it just kind of ties it together. That's it. No big deal. You know what I'm saying? No biggie. No biggie. You could really make it whatever you want. Actually, uh, let's see. Let me see if I can. Cause I'm really just playing around right now. This ain't even a tutorial, man. I'm just really just having fun with y'all. Um, this is kind of cool, you know what I'm saying? Just a little, little bit of little purple things going on there. And um, down here, we get a little purple thing going on. Now, I want to say something real quick about um, the power of flyers and things like that. You know, a lot of people do events right now, and a lot of events is found in or found out through the internet people don't just flyers they don't go to they don't pass out or mail flyers no more i'm talking about funeral flyers um you know celebration anything it's, it's all spread out through the internet all spread out through instagram facebook stuff like that when people want to know events so there is a need even a more greater need to be a really good quality flyer producer and to get a premium, premium, premium look, guys, you need professional models. You need professional lighting. You need professional backgrounds. You need professional things, this, that, and the other. And I am here to provide that for you, right? And when you want to get off into the deep, deep, deeper, deeper parts of the dark, deep, dark web, <laughs> trying to make it as dark as possible, you're going to want to take my courses to learn those little secrets of how to uh, come up with dynamic um, flyer images and stuff like that. But again, right now, if you not if you don't have the budget to learn it, you don't have the time to learn it, then of course I can provide you with some you know with some information. Look how good this looked. I, I mean, I mean, how many flyers? I mean, I'm just messing around. I just made what two three flyers in 15 minutes like literally like let's look at this uh let's look at this 
you see let's look at uh, this you see you see all the dynamic flyers and, and keep this in mind too oh this is one of my this is one of my favorites um this is really beautiful i like a magazine cover right now remember you what you're paying for um if you was not oh that's already on there oh yeah i already showed it um uh, oh no that's a different image same girl different image but what you're paying for is um premium premium quality uh artwork and things like that right um and so uh, so that your your content can really pop it can really look super duper dynamic I'm over silent so let me shut up let me stop let me show you better than I can tell you all right and um, in the pack you're going to have plenty 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 of uh, items to work with plenty of items to work with um, our lights ain't even on let's cut on our lights bam look at that they ain't even placed properly. They just all, just all over the place. Look how beautiful that is. You see that? Let's do another one. Let's go in here. And let's get this chickadee here. She looking hot, right? I really like this because of the color scheme, right? So let's go in here. And uh, let's just drag and drop. And we're gonna put a, a slight spin on this one after it after it's done processing. Okay, so we're gonna put a slight spin on this. Actually, the colors is really matching um matching nice. I really um, like it. It really don't need um anything to it, right? However, um I want to change a couple things. Let's 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 uh, let me show you how you how you would think when you are adjusting things. Now I, I remember too, it's all about speed. Okay, so we got these lights here. Remember I told y'all when you're trying to select something and you can't because the lights is in the way? Let's just cut the lights off for a minute. Actually, you really can just really roll with that, to be honest, perfectly honest with you. Um, you know, you don't have to overdo it. You know, it's it's, it's all up to you. Um, but you can select things. You can move things around. That's what I'm doing right now. Don't have to stay exactly where it's at. Uh, I'm going to do, since we got the color contrast blue, we're going to do some blue on that, on that one there. Maybe bring it up a little brighter. Now, remember, we want we want to always have contrast so that person can read the flyer that they're looking at. We want them to be able to read it, so we have some contrast. All right. Um. So that color right there may not actually work there. You know why? Because the color behind it is is too dark. So as a designer, again, you want everything legible. Now you want to think legibility as a designer, meaning um. You may have some good things there, but if a person can't read it, then you should consciously, it should be a conscious decision. Well, let me, let me, let me use a brighter color. It just, it really, that just should be default because again, you don't want to, you don't want somebody older with bad ass having a hard time reading where the location or how much the event costs or whatever the case may be. Um, but again, after you get everything where you need it to be, you know what I'm saying? It's located on Ghetto Boulevard. One north block of the hood, you know what I'm saying? If your grandma coming, you want to make sure that you know she know where she coming to the hood. You know what I'm saying? She probably got a squad on the block already waiting on it and everything like that. It's all good. So um, you want your DJs and stuff like that. Um, but, um, you know, you may want to adjust some things around. You know, even though, you know, you could just dr drag and drop and it's done and change the words. And it, um, what's the phrase they use? Uh done for you or done already for you or something like that or whatever but I do want to see a little bit of that blue we're going to be missing a lot of the beauty inside of the image but that's okay it's, it's part of you know it's part of flyer design you know what I'm saying but what we is going to do here let me, let me move this um, I do like these lights behind so what we're going to do is we're going to utilize another part of um, some tools that I have for you guys and that is um, my text right so let's change up the text let's go back into the assets folder go into the fonts 3d text now let me show you something this is something new that I just added 5500 premium 3, 300 fonts. you got like a hundred thousand there's so many I don't even go up in there because I ain't even mastered all of them yet I'm still working with the 200 bath or whatever but anywho uh, let's go ahead now let me see here so we got uh, Friday party right now uh, but I want to change that font 
and this is the thought process like for example if i don't use that let me go ahead and let me go ahead and move this real quick so i can kind of have some visual ideas okay so what i want to do first and foremost i want to change the glow on here and we're going to make the glow let's double click the effects and let's make the glow um let's make that glow uh it can be let me see i i really i'm really not going to know until wait a minute hold on inner glow i just added something that i wasn't supposed to have right there that inner glow get out of here all right um this inner glow should probably be more in the blue neighborhood all right and i really don't know until i find the font that i'm going to use now so what you want to do is this with the pack that you have um which you should have if you don't have it go get it else all this is irrelevant um but with the pack that you have you should um um just be able to just go in here and open up uh, uh let's look for a font we was already talking about that right yes okay um and then what i like to do is take this and kind of slide it uh to the left or something like that right now i'm looking at like luxury gold look like that would be nice up in here because she's blue and gold um so what i'll be looking for is something that's compatible or you know that that, that can relate to the color in there right glass I, even though that's gold is too thick it's going to cover too much of that you see what i'm saying so let's scroll around and i'm gonna keep looking this flash let me show y'all something this flash kind of look good here but I think this flash is, um, let me see, that's a doc Photoshop document. The, the flash, again, it does look good. Um, Friday, some, let me see, you know, uh, DJ Night, let me see him. I'm trying to think of what I would say. Uh, flash, mm -mm, flash might be t too busy, right? It might be too cloudy. I really don't want to cover up all the beauty and the art in this person, right? Rolling might be cool. Let's see, rolling. Okay, I, I think actually that might actually work, y'all. But uh, let me look around before I decide on rolling because once we open them up, it's a whole nother ball game. Youth day, that's kind of cool. Uh, water, that's cool if we're doing a splash party. Um, giveaway castle, nightclub. Nightclub kind of cool actually. Let's see here. Uh, nightclub nightclub so I'm looking really I'm looking from a um and this is the part where the training come in this is where the tutorials are really benefit you because you you can slap anything in there and it will look good but if you know what you're doing you can put things in there and make it look better and that is basically what I'm trying to uh, trying to point out and put emphasis on so let's see here all right i think we're going to go back up there to the default i said what we like the neon the neon neon light that kind of look cool let me see neon light all right <clears throat> and i'm looking at like this gold i really like the gold but of course it, it's just way too thick it will cover up too much of the art and it'll take away from the aesthetics right and what exactly is aesthetic? What do, what do that mean when you say aesthetic? It'll take away from the aesthetics. Well, what I mean is um, there is a cohesive look. When you look at something, if the aesthetics is off, you will know it. It's, aesthetics in art is a visual harmony. It's kind of like, it's like when you hear somebody sing and when they sing off key, that is a, uh, I'm going to see what nightclub, I'm going to see what that look like. Um, when you, when you hear somebody sing and they sing off key, that, um, gives off, um, that gives, let me see here, that gives off, um, disharmony. You know what I'm saying? All right, let, let's go here. So let me show you how to do, uh, how to, how to use these here, uh, these text effects, cause it's going to open up in this own. Um, premium thing or whatever it's going to open up in this in this own section so what i like to do is um i um i like to go in here and we're going to tweak let's see here okay so if you mute if you cut off the eyes you'll see what uh what's what's the issue over here or what is 
what's happening over here and um, okay the main files so this is what we're looking at here effect shadow okay so let me show y'all how to use this and then how to put this inside of here all right and I, there's there's a variety of ways that you can do it but I'm gonna show you the best way to do it so that you it, you it'll be hassle free for lack of better words so let's double click here and uh, we're gonna night you know let's just keep night I don't know why what just keep nightclub just keep it um and uh, this this red might actually might actually pop let's see here all right so what we're what we're going to want to do is um we don't have to select everything like the color correct well actually let me see here no nope, we can okay we just collect select the color collect color correction hold shift um select club and hold shift select night and what you want to do, not from here, because if you try to drag and drop it from here, you're going to make a mistake and grab one thing or, or the other. You want to grab the folders and just drag them over and drop them into here. Now, after they're dragged and dropped into here, before you shrink them, don't shrink them yet, because this is designed with the size in mind, which means that if we shrink this, we're going to distort the effect the effect is going to get distorted. It's not going to be the way it was designed to be. So what you do is select. Oh, sorry about that here. Go back in here. Um, you see these three folders here? It's in the group text here. We can drag it out the group text real quick. We'll put it up here. Okay, so that, nope, they're still in the text group. Okay, so they're not in the group right now. So we can close that and close that but what I want you to do is right under this go and create a layer right just create a blank layer and then select those all three of those hold control E and what happens is you merge them down to that one layer that means that the effects and the layers and all of the little things that they did to make these dynamic to make it look beautiful like that it gets locked in when you hold select uh, I mean when you select and match them down that way now when we shrink this it keeps everything intact you see that so is that size big It's also it's right small if you got this pack and you've been trying to play around with it and you wondering why things shift the way it do or whatever the case may be that is the reason why all right so then you cut everything bell everything else everything else back on and now you have night club right up in the building with her bam and then um we can go ahead and take that and move that out the way since we're not going to be utilizing that and um that is how you fix up the night flyer for club hell now all right so uh, for the fun of it, y'all want to do one more? Nah, man, just meet me back on another uh, session because I got more of these designs and I'm going to pop back on here later on. We're probably going to try to do something every day or every other day, but I'm going to teach y'all a little bit of something about AI and teach y'all the benefits of learning, or should I say mastering AI so that you really can uh, change your game. This is 100% a game changer. Uh, especially um, when Adobe fully come out uh, right now there's a beta version and I'm having trouble downloading my beta version but it's doing generative fill and different AI things once that get into play um, game is definitely about to life is about to change for sure life is already on something else but it's definitely about to change. anyway let me go ahead and sign out I thank y'all for um, checking me out thank y'all for watching uh, and make sure y'all go pick up that pack. If y'all want to continue to support me, because unfortunately, this is all I do. I don't got a nine to five. So if you want to support the channel and, and ha have things keep moving and motivating and learn something beneficial at the, at the same time, while you, I'm, and I, when I say beneficial, I'm talking about some things that can help you make money. It can help you make money. So I'm doing these type of things to ensure other people can learn what I do while at the same time making money myself from the same things I'm teaching y'all. So I hope you guys benefit from it, appreciate it, and um, do all you can to support your homie Grand Tizzo. And uh, I guess that's it for now, man. So until the next time, uh, and, and what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to be uploading some videos. Um, 
I'm not going to be talking all the time, like what I'm doing right now. Um, and the reason why is because I can get more videos out like that. Uh, cause sometimes I like to just work and brainstorm, but I'm going to be recording myself while I'm working, while I'm brainstorming. And then I just speed it up and just kind of slap it on YouTube as uh, you know, for content, but also to be a reminder to stay in your face. Like, you know, I got this, I got this product. If you're interested in it, make sure I go pick it up. Look what I can do with the product that I'm using. This is my product. I'm using it. I can do it. You can do it too. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank y'all for watching. And until the next time I see you in a minute, I'll see you when I spin it. Pills knees, baby.